Why should you use an ad blocker? Well, unless you like ads on your computer and slower performance in your browser and less efficiency when you're working in your browser, you're going to want to use an ad blocker. And let's be honest, the previously mentioned things nobody really likes. Nobody wants to be seeing an abundance of ads inside their browser. They don't want their computer slowed down by those ads and they don't want to be less efficient because they have all of these ads running on their computer, right? So that's what an ad blocks for. Most people would agree that that's a pretty, pretty good deal. Nobody wants to be seeing that stuff and nobody wants to be dealing with that. So that's why ad blockers were created. Okay. Um, they lead to less strain on your CPU by blocking a lot of those ads. And on top of that, they may stop you um, from going to a website that you didn't mean to go to as some of those ads that we'll see when we're online are actually malicious and plan on linking us off to a website where we're going to to fall into harm's way, right? Or fall into the danger zone, which we don't want to be in. So ad blockers can help prevent advertisements that would otherwise lead us to unsavory places uh, from doing so, right? By completely blocking the ad from ever being there. So ad blockers are great in uh, a great online tool. Um, you could basically almost call them a security tool, an additional security tool, because what they can do is actually make your computer a bit safer by blocking some of those malicious ads. And then on top of that, it is just kind of a nice utility uh, feature that it, it, the fact that it blocks those advertisements when we're online, all of that clutter, right? Because nobody likes all that clutter from advertisements. Or how about video ads? Those are the worst. Maybe you're on a website and you uh, you run into a video ad. Those, those are no fun, okay? So there's a lot of different reasons to use an ad blocker. Again, performance, security, speed, efficiency, whatever you're using it for, okay? Now this brings me to the most important question of all though, now that we know that it's it's important to use an ad blocker, nobody really questions that, which ad blocker is the best out there because there are so many available, so which one is the best, right? So um, we kind of put a list together, we wouldn't say any particular one out of our list today is the best, but we do wanna talk about some of the best ones out there uh, that are currently in use or that we would recommend using it, okay? And when putting this list together, we had to look at a couple different things, right? We had to look for user interfaces that are easy to use. We had to look for, uh, do they allow for custom filters that control and you can create kind of a custom blocking experience or a custom blocking uh, preference within, within the application itself or in, inside the extension, I should say, uh, itself. That was, a, that was a big key feature here. And so one of the things we wanted to look for. And then on top of that, uh, we talked about ad blockers usually helping with the resources on your compu computer or performance. So we wanted to make sure that the ad blockers that we recommend are going to improve the performance on your computer and going to uh, not use a lot of resources themselves, right? Because it wouldn't be uh, very useful to block ads that are hurting the performance on your computer by using an ad blocker that itself is going to be very resource heavy or use a lot of the uh, CPU power, CPU, um, resources on your computer and or ram right so want to make sure that it's resource friendly has a nice user interface meaning that uh, anybody who jumps in and starts to use the extension would be able to figure it out pretty easily and then on top of that making sure that uh, that it's safe to use right safe to use and uh, allows some some level of custom control okay and so the four that we came up with on that list and the four that we would recommend are going to be uBlock origin uh, which which is very le uh, low resource uh, when when in use. Um, AdBlock Plus, which has been around, uh, we've been recommending and using that one here at My Computer Works for some time. Um, that's that's the one I usually choose to use if I'm going to use a, an ad blocker. And then AdGuard, uh, which is another one that again it has a nice user interface. It's a um, I like all of the ones in our list. It has a free version in addition to a premium version that uh, both offer a different level of protection and blocking. And then uh, Nord VPN threat protection. Nord is known for their great VPN out there. There's a lot of VPNs. Um, it's a very hot topic right now. A lot of people talk about VPNs. Nord is one of the best VPNs out there and they offer the Nord VPN threat protection extension that can go right into your browser and also act as sort of a blocker, okay? Now, each of these has, as I mentioned, a paid version and a free version, okay? And you're welcome to try out each of the free versions for these different ad blockers. And I do wanna say, we're not recommending that you install all four. Um, obviously, that would use quite a bit of resources on the computer if you had all four running, and they could clash against each other. 
But out of the four, maybe go through and try each one. If you're unfamiliar with them, give them each a try. See what you like about each of the, you know, the free versions. Try, try the free version and then uh, look at what they offer in the premium version. Typically, going premium with your ad blocker means that you're maybe going to get get a couple additional customization options. Um, you might you might be able to block things at the network level rather than just the browser level. And then on top of that, it may block ads that the free version was failing to block or was just not blocking because uh, again they're not going to offer you usually the full package if you're not paying the price but they do offer a lot of great features even in the free version for each of these respective extensions that we mentioned again that's uBlock origin adblock plus ad guard and nord vpn threat protection would be the four out of the great many out there because again like we said there's always a new ad block company popping up uh, boasting this or that, you know, that, that they'll be able to maybe block ads on YouTube, which is something that a lot of people uh, look for. But I do just want to comment again, we've kind of mentioned it in the past. Um, a lot of the reasons that YouTube doesn't allow for ad blocking. And one of the reasons why I always say, uh, you know, even I turn my ad block off for YouTube is that those ads is ha are, are how the uh, content creators make, make money, right? So uh, without those advertisements, the content creators don't make money. YouTube doesn't make money. If YouTube's not making money, the content creators are definitely not going to be making money. Uh, so just remember that when it comes to certain websites, uh, we do get quite a bit of free usage off of them. I mean, I've been using YouTube for free. I've gone to the premium. Uh, you know, I can't even tell you how many years I've been using YouTube. So don't forget that a lot of these companies, uh, a lot of these websites are providing us with a uh, pr pretty awesome service for free a lot of the time. And the advertisements is how they make money and continue to do what they do and to bring the great content that they bring. So don't always be super fast to block those. Um, even though we love ad blockers, they can be great on websites, especially we've been talking about a lot about online shopping lately. This would be a great time if you don't have an ad blocker to get one installed on your computer if you're going to be stumbling around online and doing a lot of online shopping, right? So get an ad blocker to make sure that it's blocking those unwanted or malicious ads that could possibly mislead you or take you over to another website like we mentioned before, earlier in the video. So um, get an ad blocker in if you don't have one. If you need assistance in getting one installed, please reach out to My Computer Works. Our number is at the beginning and the end of the video down in the description. We'd be more than ha happy to help you set up an ad blocker. And again, if you have not set one up and you want to do it on your own, I strong strongly recommend our list of the four uBlock Origin, AdBlock Plus, AdGuard, and NordVPN Threat Protection. These are going to be great options for you to pick from. And honestly, like I said, they all offer their different user interfaces, their different levels of customization. Uh, so it's really about just kind of playing with each of them, play with them in the free version, and then decide which one you like. And if you decide that you need that extra layer of protection get the premium version but just remember that is going to come with a subscription fee so uh, premium versions are, are never free you always end up having to pay something for them so you'll have some sort of small monthly fee that you probably have to pay for that you could get away with just using the free version i know i have for a long time and uh, it's been just fine so biggest thing is just making sure you have one it's kind of like antivirus right there's a lot of companies out there they're not all as good as the next one so uh, we talk about malware bytes a lot here when it comes to antivirus. So on the ad block side, these are the ones that we would recommend. And uh, I hope you find your suitable ad blocker within this list. If you like this video, please hit that like and subscribe down below. And we will see you next time.